Good morning, everybody. Bob here again with CNC molds and stuff. I've got a busy day in the shop this fine morning, and I need to get a six cavity custom minnow bait mold on the machine. The cam was finished, and the G code was generated on Friday afternoon, so hopefully that will get on the machine and get started quickly. Then I've got to finish up a line through bait head mold for charter boat captain Gaspar Marino of Wad McCullet Sport Fishing. Captain Marino's design is what inspired the need to be able to turn Teflon pins in my last video, the one about installing a little machine shop collet closer in one of my small lathes. If that gets done, while well, I still have some time left in the day, I need to replace the angular contact bearings on the Z-axis ball screw on one of my machines and reassemble it. Hopefully at the end of the day I'll finally have some time to replace the spark plugs and thermostats in my boat and take it out for a quick test run. Today's video is about machining the Teflon pins for Captain Marino's mold. If all goes well, he has given us permission to show the mold and cast lead head to cap off the video and show how the pins are used. Alright, we're back to making pins. Let's try and do one start to finish. Just so you guys can see the whole process. snug fit for the pin that mates up with it. I'm just going to push the uh, rod stock back up inside the chuck for right now so we can do the other end of this pin.
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Hey, that one came out pretty good. All right, here we are, guys, with Captain Moreno's mold. I'm going to show you how those Teflon pins are applied. Take the line through pin, insert it in the nose of the main core pin, set it in the mold. Same thing again. Make sure they're not in the way of the sprues. Alright. Line through pin comes out pretty easy get it right away. The core pin comes right out as well. There's a couple more I did earlier testing, but to be honest, this particular mold worked the first try cold, so he should get really good pours if he waits till it warms up and or hits it with a shot of graphite spray. <laughs> 